All right, hello everyone and welcome to today's gameplay stream. Today is Saturday, November 14th, 2015, and welcome. Uh, I am Darkside Phil, of course, and I'm starting to pre-stream. I see that more people are joining the stream, but I said, hey, I gotta get going because I definitely want to start relatively on time here and get around three hours of gameplay in on today's Fallout 3 stream. I know that some people were disappointed uh, yesterday because I did not do a Fallout 3 stream as my main gameplay stream. I had actually gone back to WWE 2K16's My Career Mode for a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh... We'll see what happens. I'm having a lot of fun with the game, as you know. Uh, but I decided, you know, today let's go back to Fallout. And I have a few mini... I'd say another mini announcements on the stream. Not necessarily huge announcements, but a few mini things I'd like to talk about. Uh, but first of all... The very first thing I'm going to say up front is pretty important, okay? So I want to say thank you to those of you who did turn out early uh, for the pre-stream. So to hear this, uh, thank you. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And what I mean by that is I want to say thank you to everyone for an awesome week. Thank you to those of you who this week uh, enjoyed my Fallout 4 coverage. My ongoing playthrough, as you know, as of right now, I'm about 22 hours into the game, which is pretty daunting when you think about it. I'm 22 hours into Fallout 4, and if you really think about it, the major quest line, what have I done? I woke up from the vault, I did some quests for the Sanctuary, the original town, saved the people over in uh, Concord and brought them to Sanctuary. Uh, I went off and found Diamond City. Did a little bit of stuff in Diamond City, and that's it. Everything else I've done has been side content. And it's fun. That's the thing. This game is so engrossing. And so has so much variety of content in it. Whether you're going off and saving people, you're building settlements, you're just looting these, you know, these uh, locations and finding rare armor, fighting legendary monsters, finding bobbleheads, finding magazines, crafting, leveling up. I found, what, four followers now? Right? I got a super mutant, I got dog meat. No, I got five followers now. And growing. This game seems to have more followers uh, than any other Fallout before. At least from what I can see, I've, I'm only... You know, I, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface of the main story of the game yet. And I have found five followers. So that's pretty amazing, right? But I want to say thank you to those of you who have been watching, who have been following along. And thanks to those of you who have uh, basically created a great week here. Okay, and what I mean by that is, uh, you know, the fact that people supported me, said, listen, this is a, an important playthrough for Phil. We understand that this is a full circle seven years kind of a deal for him. And we're going to come out and we're going to check out the stuff. And listen, the bottom line is, I'm going to be honest with everyone, I still have not checked views on this playthrough. I refuse to. Because I don't want anything to affect my enjoyment of this game. I really think that I'm just going to play the game and enjoy it at face value and not really care about the viewership when it comes to the, the videos on YouTube, okay? From what I've heard, apparently a lot of people have checked out the beginning of the playthrough, like the first, you know, 10 to, to 20 videos per se, and then it kind of trails off because the bottom line is most people have played the game all week, <clears throat> but... They're not going to watch my stuff until they actually get further into the game. So, you know, you play 20 hours. All right, now I'll watch Phil's first 20 hours. You don't want to spoil the game for yourself. And I completely understand that. That is the kind of game this is. If you remember, I did play Fallout 3, uh, you know, back in November of 20, uh, 2008. Excuse me. And what happened was, at first, when I, I remember, I actually remember when I started playing that game, I had absolutely... Uh, no idea how that game was going to be because the only thing I had done up to that point in 2008 was that I had uh, very done like little snippets. If you remember, I had played like Dead Space, I had played Mercenaries 2, and I'd been done highlights. Like, here's a highlight of this playthrough. I didn't do a full length playthrough of any of these games. Uh, another one was Saints Row 2, I remember I had done by then. And then when I played Fallout 3, I said, I'm just going to record everything. I'm going to record everything, I'm going to upload everything, and we're going to see how people like it. And I remember at first it was kind of slow. I remember that first week or two that I was actually playing Fallout 3. It actually wasn't catching on, per se, uh, as much 
as uh, the other stuff that I had done. And then all of a sudden, I noticed over time, all of a sudden this playthrough started to get popular. It started to spread and go almost viral, and views accumulated on it. Now, the thing is, you know, then there was a big bush, bu push of popularity for my channel. And so when I did other long-form playthroughs, such as Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas, yeah, those did get a lot more popular initially. But with this game, being that it's one of the most anticipated games in the past seven years, and I really felt people were not going to want to spoil the game for themselves unless they weren't going to play it themselves, <clears throat> I quite honestly wasn't expecting a huge, insane influx of views. And like I said, I don't know. I don't even know. How the views are doing it, I don't give a shit. Because I'm enjoying the game so much, I'm playing it at my own pace. Every day that I play this game, I unlock new stuff. Whether it's a new follower, a new fun location, new bobbleheads, new magazines, whatever. Upgrades. And I'm having tons of fun playing it. I really am. <clears throat> so I want to say thank you to those of you this week who not only enjoyed the game yourself, but followed me on my journey. Or maybe you're just beginning to start to follow me on my journey. Okay? And that's fine. You know, there is no reason, I, I keep telling this to everyone, there's no reason that you absolutely have to watch videos the day that they're released. I don't know why people have this mentality that I have to watch everything the day it's released. You know how I watch television? I binge watch. What I actually do is I wait for a season of a show to be like halfway through, or sometimes I don't even watch it when it's new. I'll wait for the DVD release and I'll buy that so I can binge watch. Right now, The Walking Dead is like, what, halfway through this season or something like that? I have ha I have all those episodes recorded, and I'll probably wait until I have like six or seven episodes saved up, and then I'll watch them all. That's how I watch television, you know? Uh, I would much rather do it that way than only watch everything as soon as it's live. And, you know, there was an era when live television was all the rage, when you couldn't record television, right? When it wasn't on demand immediately, and now it is. And that's kind of how YouTube is. Is just because I'm playing Fallout 4 all this week and I'm enjoying it. And, you know, I'm playing it six plus hours a day. And I'm now 22 hours into the game. Doesn't mean that you have to watch it all right away. You know, watch it at your own pace. I remember just this morning. Just this morning I tweeted. And I was like, it seems like part 51 of Fallout 4 didn't go live. I guess YouTube ate the video or whatever. I'm going to re-upload it. And someone tweeted me and said, oh, man, I'm only on part 25. Are you serious that you're up to part 51? And I responded. I was like, well, actually, I think I'm up to part 54, but it's not going anywhere. Watch at your own pace and no pressure, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah, that is the deal. Is uh, I'm very happy that people are telling me, listen, I'm enjoying your playthrough. Yes, I'm watching it at my own pace. I play the game a little and then I watch you. And that's cool. And that's how it works. <laughs> So thank you for an awesome week. You know, this was a week when I was only playing Fallout 4, and I knew that that was going to isolate some viewers, and there were going to be some people that might say, well, because you're only playing Fallout 4, uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to watch because I'm not interested. Uh, and that's fine, too. I think that some people maybe got caught up on other stuff that maybe I had played in the past couple of months, and that's awesome. I want to say thanks for everyone's ongoing support with Patreon. Because in the past few weeks since I made my announcement that unfortunately, you know, my, my DSP gaming channel has been pretty negatively affected uh, by the false copyright strikes back in August, far worse than we initially thought it would. And the fact that I don't get any kind of casual viewer anymore. Basically, everyone who watches my videos now is a hardcore viewer. Someone who knows who I am, who, you know, either subscribed or you check out my videos every day. I'm not getting that casual viewership anymore because I don't show up in YouTube search and I don't show up in related videos because of all the bullshit that happened with the false copyright stuff back in August. And it sucks, but that's the reality. So thanks to those of you who did actually support me, not only through watching the videos and spreading the word that Phil is playing Fallout 4, but to the many of you, because there's been a good chunk of people, I'd say probably in the past couple of weeks, maybe around 50 people, who uh, have pledged to my Patreon uh, because they realize, man, you know, we want Phil to keep doing this full time and... You know, it sucks that he's having some hardship now because of the bullshit against him, the completely false illegal copyright strikes that have been f put against him. And so thank you for that. Okay, I won't even plug it. I'll just say patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. I won't even mention it again today. How about that? Uh, but thank you. It's been a great week. It's awesome that regardless of all the shit going on, that I've been able to sit down, enjoy Fallout 4 
for what it's worth, dedicate as much time as I actually did, okay, <clears throat> to this game, and I'm having a ton of fun with it, okay? So there's a few things that I want to I want to talk about and pose to, propose to everyone here, okay? The first thing is I want to let everyone know that tomorrow, originally tomorrow, what I was going to do is I was going to have a poll to see what people wanted to see me play tomorrow. Did you want to see me do more Fallout 4 tomorrow? Did you want to see me mix it up and do WWE? Uh, did you want to see me do something else? And I've decided I'm making the executive decision tonight. All right, the executive decision decision tonight is that I am going to play more Fallout 4 tomorrow as well. Um, and the reason for that is because tomorrow in particular, I'm actually, for the first time in over two months, going to make a pot of sauce. Yes, I know that I talk about this from time to time. I'm making a new pot of Italian sauce. And uh, that takes some time, as everyone knows. When I do that, I have to have some prep in the morning to do the sauce. Okay? And, uh... And when I do that, I you know, it takes a little bit of time to get the setup and to get the sauce going. And once it's going, then I need to stir it and season it and do stuff with it all day. And being that I want to uh, do that and, to, and take the time to do it rather than rush through it, uh, I think that Fallout 4 is the kind of game that doesn't matter if I'm taking breaks every 20 minutes or whatever, right? It's not like this game that's going to have la large segments of multiplayer. Imagine if I was trying to play Call of Duty Zombies... And every, you know, I can't take a break. You're stuck in that session of zombies, you know. So, it makes sense for me to play more Fallout 4 tomorrow, alright? So, it's going to be Fallout 4 tomorrow as well. So, that's one big announcement, alright? Um, now, Monday is a different situation. What I've decided is on Monday, my first stream, my main gameplay session will be in the hands of the viewers. I'm going to do a poll tomorrow night, Sunday night. Where you, not, where you can vote on what I'm going to be playing on Monday. It's going to be split. There is still going to be Fallout 4. That's going to be later on in the day. But I want to poll to see what do people want to see during the daytime. Okay? What, what is it? Or, or what are you interested in? And uh, the options will be WWE, more Call of Duty Zombies, Assassin's Creed Syndicate post-game content, which is the missions for the Queen and the Easter Egg, which apparently is World War One, which I did not play yet. Okay, or do you just want to see crazy amounts of Fallout 4? Like, do you want all of Monday to be Fallout 4? Okay. All right. Uh, there's some idiot in the stream chat that's distracting me with nonsense. You only have 47 views, Phil. Uh, no, there's nothing I've ever done that only had only 47 views. Get out of here. He's literally just trying to distract me, so I've had enough. All right, so anyway, <laughs> so that's going to be Sunday night. Uh, I'm going to do a poll, and we'll see what happens on Monday. It could either be a total day of Fallout 4, or it could be a mix, all right? Now, another thing, and this one I actually want uh, stream chat uh, response right now, please, okay? Um, I've got a few people who have messaged me over the past day saying that they're a little annoyed... <clears throat> that I am still using the green Pip-Boy light. Now, when I started playing this game earlier this week, day, on day one I said I was annoyed that this Pip-Boy light that you're using is bright freaking green. Like, it's seriously bright green, neon green, and so when I'm in these rooms that are dark and I turn on the light, it's bright green. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't even see. You know? Now, the thing is, since that first day when it annoyed me, uh, I finally realized, okay, uh, it's okay. And, it, and my eyes kind of kind of mellowed to it. And so I'm okay with the bright green now as the light. And I've been using it all week. Uh, do people want to see me change the color of the light? I could. Uh, I think apparently the way you do it is if you go into the menu of the game, you could change the light there. I don't know how. I'll have to mess with it a little bit if people want me to. Um, but I'm okay with the green, you know, so I don't know if people are so effing annoyed with this green that they want to see me change it, but I'm okay with it. What does everyone think? I see some people that are saying switch it to white. Other people are saying try blue or orange or something more mellow to the eyes. I don't know. I'm okay with it, but... 
They said make it white because that's what color a normal light actually is. <laughs> now what I'm worried about is if I change it, does that also change the menu color? Because obviously if I change it to white, that's great. But then if I go to the menu and the menu is bright white, is it going to fucking blind me, you know? I think the green is perfect for the menu. I don't want to go pure white if it's going to be distracting. A lot of people are saying try white. All right, I guess we'll mess with it a little bit. We'll mess with it when we start with the gameplay here. We'll change the color. Okay, we'll see what happens. And uh, and we'll go from there. Okay. We'll try. If it looks like shit, I'll turn it back. Okay. All right, the last thing I want to say, and then we're going to get started. Um, I just want to let everyone know, you know, I'm being serious about this and I'm sticking to it. I made a commitment. That with streaming, I was going to cut back on streaming. Now, let's be honest. That hasn't happened this week. This week, I basically streamed twice every single day uh, because I was, uh, you know, playing a new game, Fallout 4. And it was uh, very, you know, engrossing for me and people had a lot of fun. But I noticed as of yesterday, uh, viewership numbers on the stream are much lower. If you take a look right now. Now, we're still on pre-stream. I haven't started playing the game yet, right? We got about 250 people in the stream chat. Um, and in the stream chat, excuse me, on the stream. That's what I meant to say. Not in the stream chat. Stream chat, we got over 50 and growing. Uh, if we could get around 400 today, in general, on the stream, then I will continue to stream Fallout 4. But, again, if we don't get those numbers, if we're getting less and less every day, what that's telling me is that, number one, interest in the game overall has waned. But I don't really think that's the case. I think in the case of this game, it's that... Uh, it's that people don't want to spoil. Like I said, people are playing at their own pace and watching the playthrough and watching the streams when they get a chance when they feel they're caught up. So if I'm so far ahead of everyone, right, that people don't want to watch live because I'm spoiling stuff for them, then I'm not going to stream every day. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens today. If we can get around 400, then I will continue to stream Fallout 4. If we don't get 400... Then when I play Fallout 4, I'll probably be playing offline. I'll be honest with everyone, it might work tomorrow because I am doing a, uh, making a pot of sauce and there will be interruptions. Maybe it makes sense for me not to stream, but we'll see. If there is demand for it, I will do it. But I'm only going to use, do supply things when there's demand, especially because people have been saying, stream less, stream less, stream less. Okay, I'm hearing you. You know, this week was an exception. Now keep in mind, this coming week, all right, this coming week, uh, is Star Wars Battlefront. And I do think that people are going to want to see Star Wars Battlefront, at least initially, you know, the first few days, live streamed. You're going to want to see what, what multiplayer does this game actually have at launch? How many different modes are there? How's the vehicle combat? What's actually available? Because that's a big piece of the controversy of Star Wars Battlefront, is it seems like the initial game's good, but... They saved a lot of the best stuff for the season pass, which is bullshit, right? And I agree there. It should be a great game at launch. It shouldn't be, oh, spend the extra 50 bucks and we'll give you the best stuff as post-game DLC. But I like Star Wars. I played the beta of this game and really enjoyed it. People liked the footage that I put out of the beta of Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> so I'm going to definitely play it this week and I'm going to live stream it. You know what I mean? And I'm going to balance Star Wars Battlefront with uh, Fallout 4 this week. So there will be more Fallout 4. Don't worry. It's not that I'm not going to be playing Fallout 4. It's that I want to balance it with whatever's new. And Star Wars Battlefront is the new big release this week. Okay? <clears throat> so uh, that's how I'm going to be doing it. I think we will get in increased stream numbers this week for Star Wars. But at the same time, I also don't want to... Uh, again, say, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream everything all week, and then people get pissed off that I'm streaming too much, you know? I gotta find the happy medium, that's the deal. And the thing is, we are gonna start slowing down, there won't be as many new releases, uh, especially in December, I think December might be a, a month when I'm not live streaming very much. Uh, the only new games coming out, there's Just Cause 3, I'm gonna be playing Rise of the Tomb Raider in December, right now I'm on the fence about Rainbow Six, uh, Siege. Because I played the beta, and although it was interesting, it wasn't anything that, like, blew me away. And quite honestly, the viewership on the beta, people were like, eh, this doesn't look too interesting. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about even getting Rainbow Six Siege at this point. It might not be a game that I check out. I might, instead, I might focus on Rise of the Tomb Raider. 
And keep in mind, in December, I'll probably be wrapping up Fallout 4. I'll probably be wrapping up ongoing things like the WWE My Career Mode. And I'll also be doing my year-end series, which, by the way, I need to start talking about that. I'm going to mention it in tomorrow's Week in Preview. Year-end series this year are going to be pretty interesting. There's going to be new stuff. We're going to have the same returning stuff, such as the fan-voted funniest moments of 2015 are going to be in there. I'm going to do two different series. I'm going to do my Game of the Year awards, but I'm also going to do my favorite playthroughs of the year. And the reason I'm doing that is because not necessarily is a game that I feel amazingly epic or a, a Game of the Year contender doesn't mean that it wasn't a great playthrough. In fact, there were some classic games that I played this year. Or some older games that I played this year that I feel were some of my best playthroughs of the year. So I'm going to do separate series of best games versus best playthroughs overall. Okay? I'm also going to do the best and worst moments of 2015 when it comes to personally me and my content. So we're going to talk about the great positive stuff that happened this year and the negative stuff. It's going to highlight everything at a glance. So those are just a few of the year-end series that I'm looking to do this year. And I just want to give you guys a preview of that because it is coming. It is coming soon. I'll be start working on that probably around mid-December. And yes, there will be a holiday special this year. I'm going to do some kind of a special holiday uh, thing for you. I don't know if it'll be a song. I don't know if it'll be a skit. We'll figure it out, but I'm going to do something good. Okay. So, so that's the deal. Um, lots of stuff coming up in December. So... I don't know if I'll be live streaming as much in December, especially because I'll be working on a lot of those series. I guess we'll see. Okay. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for your feedback uh, here on the pre-stream. Like I said, I will. Uh, I'll try to change my Pip Boy color. We'll see what happens here with the with the light. See if you like that or not. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get started right now with Fallout 4 gameplay around three hours. Thank you very much. I hope that you uh, enjoy the stream, and uh, I hope to see you. Uh, you know, tomorrow as well, which will be more Fallout 4. We'll see if I'm streaming or not. I'll let you know by the end of the stream today how we did viewership-wise. And if we hit the 400, then I will be streaming tomorrow. So I'll let you know, okay? All right, everyone. Let me end the pre-stream and let's get started with Fallout 4 gameplay. Here we go.